Louise Curry, a classic Hollywood actress of timeless grace and talent, has left an indelible mark on the world of film. Among her extensive body of work, one might wonder which particular role or moment defined her career, or perhaps if there is one that resonates personally with you. As we delve into her legacy, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or experiences related to this legendary actor in the comments below. Now, let's explore some intriguing facts about Louise Curry, a trailblazer of her time. Louise Curry, a starlet who shined bright in Hollywood's golden era in the glitzy and glamorous world of Hollywood's golden era, where leading ladies and starlets graced the silver screen, Louise Curry was a name that stood out, albeit briefly, with her undeniable talent, charm, and unique journey through the film industry. Born on April 7, 1913, in Oklahoma City, she embarked on a cinematic journey that was as fascinating as it was short-lived. Louise Curry's career began in the 1930s when she was just a teenager, and she quickly made her mark in Tinseltown. She was an exceptionally versatile actress, taking on roles in a wide range of genres, from westerns to sci-fi, and even horror. Her radiant beauty and undeniable acting chops earned her contracts with major studios like Warner Bros. and Universal Pictures. It's worth noting that during this era, young starlets were typically typecast into specific roles, but Curry defied convention and embraced a variety of characters. One of the lesser-known aspects of her career is her involvement in serials, a popular form of entertainment in the 1930s and 1940s. Louise Curry became a household name through her role in The Spider's Web, a popular serial in which she played a fearless journalist caught up in a web of intrigue and crime. Her portrayal of a strong, independent woman in these serials made her a trailblazer at a time when women's roles in cinema were often limited to damsels in distress. While she may not have achieved the megastar status of contemporaries like Betty Davis or Katherine Hepburn, Louise Curry's dedication to her craft and her unique ability to excel in different genres earned her a dedicated fan base. Her contribution to the world of cinema was undeniable, and her striking beauty and talent on screen certainly didn't go unnoticed. However, Louise Curry's career faced challenges, and by the 1950s, she decided to retire from acting to focus on her personal life. She married and dedicated herself to her family, leading a quieter but undoubtedly fulfilling life away from the spotlight. Her decision to step away from Hollywood was a reflection of her strong sense of self and her determination to live life on her own terms. In retrospect, Louise Curry's career might be characterized as brief, but it was nothing short of remarkable. She was a pioneer, a woman who broke free from the constraints of her time and a talented actress whose work still captivates audiences today. She may not have become a Hollywood legend, but her contributions to the industry were undeniable and paved the way for future generations of actresses to challenge stereotypes and shine in their own unique ways. In the annals of Hollywood history, Louise Curry's name might not be as widely recognized as some, but her legacy as a versatile actress and a trailblazer remains indelible. Her life and career, marked by passion and determination, are a testament to the spirit of women in the entertainment industry during her time. She may have left the silver screen, but her impact endures, and her story continues to inspire. Louise Curry, a starlet who shined bright in her own unique way, will forever have a special place in the heart of cinema aficionados. Louise Curry's career in the entertainment industry was facilitated by her agent, Sue Carroll, who happened to be the wife of actor Alan Ladd. Thanks to Sue Carroll's connections, Curry began working with Monogram Pictures and Columbia Pictures. This opportunity marked a significant turning point in her acting career. In addition to her work in the film industry, Louise Curry made a few television appearances in the 1950s. However, she retired permanently from acting in 1956, marking the end of her on-screen career. Louise Curry's personal life also had an interesting chapter. In 1934, she married Robert Hefner, Jr. After their marriage, she moved to California with her baby, Robert Hefner III. This aspect of her life provides a glimpse into her personal journey alongside her professional accomplishments. In conclusion, Louise Curry's connection with Sue Carroll and her work with Monogram Pictures and Columbia Pictures, her television appearances, and her family life with Robert Hefner Jr. and Robert Hefner III are key points in her life 
and career. These facts shed light on the various facets of her life in the entertainment industry and beyond. Louise Curry's journey to Hollywood, California was the beginning of her acting career. She attended Max Reinhardt's drama school, where talent scouts noticed her during a stage workshop. This discovery marked the start of her path in the world of entertainment. Despite the opportunity, Curry initially chose not to take screen tests until after her graduation. This decision reflected her dedication to honing her craft before venturing into the film industry. Her first appearances on screen included roles in Billy the Kid Outlawed, and Yao Find Out, a K. Kaiser musical where she portrayed a society debutante. These early career choices and experiences laid the foundation for Louise Curry's successful acting career. Her journey from drama school to the big screen showcases her commitment to her craft and her gradual rise in the entertainment world. Louise Curry, known for her contributions to the world of film, held a unique place in cinema history. She gained recognition as the last surviving cast member of the iconic movie Citizen Kane, although she remained uncredited for her role as a reporter at Zanadu. The film Citizen Kane, released in 1941, is considered one of the greatest movies ever made, directed by Orson Welles. Louise Curry's uncredited portrayal of a reporter in the film was a small but memorable part of this cinematic masterpiece. Over the years, as other credited cast members passed away, Curry's status as the last surviving cast member of Citizen Kane brought her into the spotlight. Despite her uncredited role, Curry's connection to such a renowned film was a point of interest for many film enthusiasts. She passed away in 2013, leaving behind a unique legacy in the world of cinema. This fact about Louise Curry's connection to Citizen Kane showcases her place in film history and her contribution to one of the most iconic movies ever made. It's a reminder that sometimes, even uncredited roles can leave a lasting impact on the world of cinema. Louise Curry, whose maiden name she would take for her professional acting surname, had a notable career in Hollywood. She was the daughter of Charles W. Gunter, a banker, and his wife, Louise. Louise Curry's acting career is best remembered for her role in the Tom Tyler chapter play, Adventures of Captain Marvel. This role left a lasting mark on her career and is often what she is associated with in the world of entertainment. In addition to her acting work, she was also interviewed in Tom Weaver's book, They Fought in the Creature Features, published in 1995. Louise Curry's contribution to the world of entertainment and her role in Adventures of Captain Marvel have solidified her place in Hollywood history. Her interview in Tom Weaver's book further adds to her legacy, allowing fans and enthusiasts to gain insights into her life and experiences in the industry. In conclusion, Louise Curry's career and contributions to Hollywood, particularly her role in Adventures of Captain Marvel, and her interview in Tom Weaver's book, showcase her significance in the world of entertainment. As we draw the curtain on this tribute to Louise Curry, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on your personal connection with this remarkable actress. Perhaps her performances left an indelible mark on your cinematic experiences, or maybe you were inspired by her talent and grace. Louise Curry's presence on the silver screen is a testament to the enduring magic of the entertainment industry. In sharing your cherished memories or thoughts about her performances, you not only honor her legacy, but also contribute to the collective tapestry of appreciation for her work. Each story, each recollection, is a thread in the rich fabric of her impact on the world of entertainment. Thank you for taking the time to join us in celebrating Louise Curry and for being a part of this tribute. Your engagement is a testament to the enduring influence of the stars that have graced the silver screen. Louise Curry's contributions have touched the lives of many, and we are grateful for your presence in commemorating her. Let us continue to cherish the memories she has gifted us and carry her legacy forward, for the magic of cinema endures through the love and admiration of its audience.